Enrolling Learners There are a number of ways in which your students can access your course. For example, your administrator might enrol them for you, or they might be automatically enrolled from outside, or they might be able to create their own accounts on the Moodle site and enrol themselves into your course. In this video, we'll look at how you, the teacher, can manually add students to your course and how you can find out the other ways in which they can access your course. To do this, we scroll down to the Administration block and then click the link Users. The two we are interested in are Enrolment Methods and Enroll Users. Enrolment means how students get into your course whereas authentication means how they get onto a Moodle site. If we, as the teacher, click Enrolment Methods, we can see the different ways that they're able to access or be enrolled into our course. The first one we see is called Manual Enrolments. This means that students can be enrolled by the teacher. The one user here is the teacher herself who's already been enrolled. Note that for our Teaching with Moodle MOOC on the Learn Moodle site, manual enrolment is not available. Guest Access has its eye icon closed, so that means that currently no guests can look at the course, but the teacher can enable this by clicking the icon. Self Enrolment means that users can enrol themselves by clicking a button. This is currently disabled because the eye icon has a line through it. Clicking it to open it would allow us to give students permission to access the course themselves. If we now go back and then look at Users, Enrolled Users, here we can do two things. We can see the list of who is already enrolled in our course, currently just the teacher. If there are a lot of users, we can search for them by using the search box at the top and we can also filter this by the different ways in which they've been enrolled and by the role in which they have in the course. To enrol users manually, we click the Enrol Users button and then choose the role that we want. Currently it's set at Learner or Student. As a teacher, we don't normally have the rights to enrol other teachers into our course we'd have to ask permission to do that. We then scroll down and choose the users that we want. So for example, to enrol this student, we click the Enrol button and then we can scroll down and finish enrolling users. This is fine if you just have a few users to enrol into courses. However, if you have many, it might be worth investigating other ways of allowing them access. Let's go to a different course in a different Moodle site and explore cohorts. Here is the Enrol Users screen again, but this time if we click the Enrol Users button we see a new option, Browse Users and Browse Cohorts. A cohort is a group of users created by a site administrator or manager and we can add cohort members individually from here or we can go back to Course Administration, Users, Enrolment Methods and add a whole cohort using what's called the Cohort Sync method. You'll only see this if your site has set up cohorts.